22. Like what, 10? Kevin is taking it upon himself to feed the chickens. I did not ask him to do this, he did this himself. It's because I hooked up the, uh, a water drip line from our garden irrigation to their water container so they can get water while we're on vacation. Well, I appreciate that. I hear a hummingbird climbing someone's yard. Which I'm cleaning out their feeders and filling them with feed, hummingbird food, sugar water. Courtesy of Kevin getting them down. Another thing he did on his own that I didn't ask him to do. <laughs> I was checking out the spinach the other day and the center little baby leaves are okay. yeah they they look fine. They yeah, they should come back. The roots are nice and hardy. Something we never did is just swing that. Yeah. To bring the whole plastic cage down a little bit to uh, adjust the rate of flow of the food. I also thought that that was um, part of the spring system because I'm pretty positive that I have messed with that wing nut multiple times and screwed it all the way down almost yeah and I've found that feeder on the ground on more than one occasion because they when they scratch at it they spin it I guess in such a way that it loosen, unravels, undoes, unscrews the uh, wing nut and it falls to the ground and then they just have at it. <laughs> Love, just so you know. Hey, wait. Oh, you're filling up the. No Never mind. <laughs> Ignore me. Don't listen to me right now. I was going to say, they're not getting that much. <laughs> I've been measuring it out more exactly. That's why it's lasting into, like, almost the end of May. Because I've been giving them less and measuring out their food. I've been only giving them two cups of the layer feed and exactly one cup of the scratch lately. Because they don't need the scratch as much. They don't need to be fat. And I was giving them exactly, basically, the amount that of like a quarter cup each. But there aren't eight chickens, so they're still getting like a quarter of a cup and like a sixteenth. Teaspoon basically each after a quarter of so cup each. I figure, uh, we'll open up the gate at the end of the run. Oh, we... yeah, I've, I was planning on opening up that before we left for our camping trip here on the weekend so that they had that space for while we were gone. And then we come back, we close them off from that area <laughs> and let it recover again. Yep. Do you need help? All open gates and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go, go, go. I'll get the old lady who's in there. But before I even open the door, I heard her. The good news is, is 
So far, she hasn't pecked me. I'm going to put you guys down and use two hands. Oh, you're going to leave. Two eggs. And they're nice and clean. Here, Kevin, you want to take these? You don't drop them. I dropped the other one yesterday. The one that I got out. So you planted yesterday strawberries in here? Or over there? I planted some strawberry seeds. Right here. Okay. Turned up for a cabbage. I planted some right there. Which has a morning glory here too. Planted some already right there. Okay, right next to the mint. Hi. Yeah, see this is coming back already in the yeah. center. That's good. And this one too. That's good. Stronger. It'll be stronger. Check this for two days ago. I found a little baby, tiny little baby praying mantis on this one. Very happy. What? Grapes. What? He wants some grapes. We don't have any grapes, love. I'm sorry. The, no, no, those aren't. You grapes. can't eat those. They're green. They're green. They're not ready to be eaten. They're not even ripe. Oh, wow. <laughs> This one has just taken off. I'm pretty sure this is a spaghetti squash plant. Do you like grapes? I do like grapes. There's another one that's taking off too. This one. I guess we can tell which ones have been pollinated and which ones haven't. Some of these I know got pollinated. I heard a big Yummy. old bumblebee in here. Yes. What? Yummy. Yummy. Did you eat an unripe grape, kiddo? Really? Uh huh. Yeah. What has been after this? What was that? It just fell. Grasshopper damage? That's what I'm hoping it is. Excuse me, keep going. I'm keeping a very close eye on this and the other grapevine because I don't want to have those pesky little bugs again. Let's have a look at our field over here for the chickens. Hi hey, turtle, we'll feed you. Wow, that recovered. That has recovered very, really, rather quickly actually. I think Lynn heard a big bird. Buzzer. Buzzer? Yeah, I think she had a hummingbird come and hang out next door uh. while she was sitting there. <laughs> Fun fact for those who don't know hummingbirds are very curious birds. <laughs> Have you fed the turtles, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, never mind. You don't need to feed them. I'm going to go in the run and take a look at the field a little better. Possibly pull some stuff up. Don't eat the grapes. Stop that. Alright. Come on. You lost your privilege of hanging out in here. She's eating the unripe grapes. Yeah. You're going to make yourself have an allergy that way, kiddo. That's how you get an allergy. Bad stomach cake, yeah. Mom. 
Yes. What are you doing? I am making that branch of raspberry bush go back into the thing. Let go. Let go. Let me show you guys really fast what I did, what we did like two days ago. Monday or Sunday? Sunday. So, Sunday we put these together and these have pumpkins in them. Those have, that has Atlantic Giant and then Big Macs. And then that one has sugar pie. There's about five sugar pie seeds in there. There's three, I can't remember what the name of the type of pumpkin is. Grass clippings to mulch this. I don't have any idea what you're saying and neither does probably anybody else. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm gonna brush that one. Let's just walk by. All right, and uh, let's go get some gloves. I'm gonna pull out some purple nightshade from the chicken field. Because it's thorny. Chickens don't touch it, they don't eat it. So there's no point in having it. Did you guys spill your food already? No. Amazing. Alright, here it comes. Look out. Hello. <laughs> she can be picked up. Alright, I'm trying to go check out the field. And pull them right shape. Hi. Oh, you're gonna be little pigs, huh? <laughs> so, if you can hear our neighbor on camera, then she is a teacher for, I believe, second grade. And, of course, most teachers have been tele-teaching, so she's next door in her backyard teaching, and I'm pretty sure today might be the last day. So, there. Here we go. Keep your branches. <laughs> Look how this recovered. This is amaranth, it looks like. I thought this is the uh, chia. Might be the chia, because it's part of the mint family. But I came in here to <laughs> our daughter. I was trying to get our neighbor's attention. Came in here to pull this. I don't want these. There's a bunch of them. My chickens don't eat these. As you can see, they have a pretty good taproot, so they tend to be a bit difficult to pull out, but there's not too many, and I don't want them to get too many. So, we're going to call it uh, good for now on today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment below.